incremental lines of enamel that is cross striations lines of red zeus and unit line the basic concept to understand the incremental lines is to understand that the deposition of enamel takes place in increments that is layer by layer and due to this periodic deposition the lines are formed striations cross striations are actually dark lines which give striated appearance to enamel striated means striped appearance to the enamel these uh, represent the daily incremental growth of enamel that is every 24 hours the amount of enamel deposited is represented by cross striations and the rate of formation of enamel is 4 micrometer per day so this is the ground section and this is the diagrammatic representation if we move further these are the lines of red zeus which we will see further and here we can see the cross striations these cross striations represent the 24 hours this amount was deposited the next 24 hours this amount was deposited and further on red zeus is the same as that of cross striations except the period there was 24 hours and here it is weekly so this represents the weekly deposition of enamel and it appear as brownish bands in ground section thus in cervical portion the deposition is quite slow hence the lines appear closer to one another we can see 7 to 10 cross striations between two lines of red zeus this is the line of red zeus and here we can see 7 to 10 cross striations since it is a weekly period so 7 days a week and 7 to 10 striations there are two types of lines of red zeus that is complete and incomplete complete will be the one that makes a full circle around the dentino enamel junction and incomplete will be the one that moves from dentino enamel junction to the outer surface this will be the incomplete so red zeus are significant in nature that is it becomes prominent during caries development and it show variation in structure and mineralization during different growth phases that is the mineral composition of enamel here might be different from the mineral composition here because this represents a different period and this represents a different period it also helps in chronological mapping that is we can identify the age of the specimen based on the incremental lines of red zeus present incremental line see this was the stri of red zeus and this dark line is it is in a sense also a stri of red zeus just a little bit more accentuated or dark Neonatal line represents the prenatal enamel and postnatal enamel. The demarcation between them. Prenatal means before birth and postnatal means after birth. It happens due to changes in environment and nutrition. So neonatal lines are seen in deciduous teeth because their enamel formation takes place also before and after birth. But for permanent teeth, it is seen only in molars. Since for all other permanent teeth, the enamel formation takes place after birth, but for molars. it is also before and after birth perigamata are the surface grooves which are present on the surface of the tooth for deciduous teeth perigamata are seen only on occlusal surface and not on the cervical surface so let us understand this this is the oral cavity from where the tooth is going to erupt and this is the cuspal region which originates first hence it is very evident that the cuspal region has to be developed first hence enamel deposition here will be before it is erupted in the oral cavity later on the cervical portion will be developed hence this cervical portion enamel is deposited after birth hence the perigamata will be seen here and not here for deciduous teeth